Hello friends! In this video I am going to be reviewing the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Brush Pen for hand lettering. The tip of this pen is pretty fine but also longer than a lot of the smaller size brush pens. They are also super bouncy and as you can see in this clip they are bending sideways and springing right back up. I've actually used these for quite a long time. They were something that I was able to find in stores before I became an Amazon Prime user. So I tried them out and I really liked them at the beginning. One thing that I really enjoy about these brush pens is their ability to create bouncy letters. Of course, bouncy lettering doesn't depend completely on your pen, but if you have a really large pen, it can be hard to create a larger bouncy lettering style because it will just take up so much space on your paper. So this feels like a good in-between size to me, and I tend to just want to write bouncier letters when I use it. These swatches are the colors that I have in my office, but it's not necessarily from a certain pack. I have bought multiple packs over the years, and I haven't really kept them separated, so I'm just using the ones that I have and using their names in the swatches, and this way you can look up a certain one if you are interested in that one. I love that this brush pen has so many unique color options, but there are some that are super hard to see on paper when you use them alone, like for lettering, and you might have better luck if you're using them for coloring or something where you're like adding shade, but some of these are pretty hard to see here on the swatches. Another great thing about this brush pen is that the tip of the pen can be pulled out and flipped over to give you another pointed tip. This is really nice because these brush pens do fray and I'm not sure if I'd say they fray super quickly. It's just that when they do fray, the tip gets pretty blunt feeling and it feels more noticeable to me than some other brush pens. But with a dual ended tip, it does give you a little bit more life with your brush pen because you can flip it over. I remember a while back I used this brush pen in a video and I mentioned that I love the color ones but that the black one just felt different to me. And some of you guys, I don't remember if it's just one person, but somebody said that you felt the same way so I don't know if that it's just me or not. There are multiple sizes of this brush pen so I just labeled the ones that I have here in black since I did have two different sizes. And I did a side by side with the black versus a color one and honestly it's really hard to tell if one is maybe just positioned incorrectly and that's why it felt different. It seems like the black might be pulled out a bit further but it's not drastic enough for me to be 100% sure so I will just let you be the judge of that for yourself. These brush pens do not blend much at all. There is a bit of streakiness there but I'm not sure that I'd call that blending. In the second test the pink seemed just a little bit darker but honestly I'm not even sure about that. And as you can see, they are quite water resistant. The black didn't hold up quite as well, but there was quite a bit of water on that one. And the thickness of the stroke is pretty big, so there was a lot of ink on the paper. So I still think overall it did quite well. I also had a newer pack of these that I wanted to show you lettering with, because sometimes lettering with a newer brush pen looks a bit different than with an older one. I would say that these brush pens are an option for beginners if you're looking for something very bouncy and flexible. If you prefer a more firm tip than these or are wanting something that isn't going to fray very much on you, then you might struggle a little bit with this one. I have a playlist of all of my pen reviews for the Pen A Day Challenge, so you can find the link in the description box below, and I will see you in my next one.